important show, then I'm sure you'll be pleased as punch to attend one of our most splendid live events. The next one is taking place in the rather charming Dutch city of Amsterdam on the 24th, 25th and 26th of November. So don't forget to ask your manservant to get your tickets pronto. Toodle pip! Right then, Bob. Look at that. What have we got today and why have we got it? Well, here, there's a label that gives us a clue. It says Waverley 1901. Yeah. That is, that is bonkers that this car is, what, 122 years old. It's a 122-year-old electric car. Yeah. This is no conversion retrofit. No. This is an electric car from 1901. It's a Waverley. Heard of them? No. No, me neither. Right. I don't think they're really about no. anymore. It is a fairly bizarre contraption. It's got no steering wheel, no. but it's got regen braking, <laughs> which is my favourite fact yeah. about it. And it's just an absolutely beautiful, completely unrestored, original 1901 electric car. Right. So I think what we should do today is have a little poke and a prod around it, yeah. and then they can let us can drive we, it. We can drive it, and it's road legal. You can go on a road with it. I know. We can go on the road with it. I'm just raving about that. The motor, yeah, that's not a replacement motor, that's not a rebuilt motor. That is the original electric motor from 1901. Completely. Still works. So, Bobby, let me hit you with some facts Ooh, and yeah. figures. Okay. What we have here, to be specific, is a 1901 Waverley Electric Model 22. I wondered if it was the Model 22. Road wagon. <laughs> what do you mean you wondered if it was the Model 22? <laughs> I had no idea. The Model 22 Road Wagon. I That's like actually a really cool name. They should do that. They should reintroduce it. This vehicle was built from 1901 to 1905. It cost $925 when new. Wow, would which you is, care well, to, I would uh, think that's quite a lot of money. Well, I don't I, know. I've run the numbers. Would All you right. care to guess what that would be with modern inflation? $25,000? I don't know. Something About like. 28 and a half grand. So it's, right. it's a Chevy Bolt. It is. Essentially. Yeah. Bargain. Entry level. Affordable. Yeah. Of course, 1901, that's what, 15 years after Carl Benz invented the car. It, we are it, talking it, genesis here. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. I, it, yeah. It, it is a bit mind-boggling to think there are electric cars right from the go, because that first ever car that Carl Benz created, that weird three-wheeler thing, yeah. that was a one-cylinder petrol car. Yeah. But there were EVs from the absolute beginning as well as steam cars, weren't there? All right. three were sort of in the running to yeah, be the dominant yeah. one. Well, and also the, the, the huge difference, which I never thought of until I read about it, was that these were so easy to, to get going. So a steam car, I've driven a steam car, terrifying to get that thing going. <laughs> For a start, you've got to light the, the, the heater, which was run on kerosene, and that would burn for like two hours before you could drive to get, the, to get up the head of steam. Combustion cars, you, you started with a crank handle. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's funny about early electric cars is all the advertising is aimed at the female customer. Yeah, yeah. These are the quiet, elegant, feminine yeah. method of transport, whereas men like to yeah. crank and yeah. get oily hands. <laughs> I would have yeah. preferred one of these, personally. Yeah, me too. Call me effeminate. I think we're both very metrosexual. Well, we're modern men. <laughs> we're modern. Should we do a walk around? Yeah. Well, it it yeah. won't take long because, as you say, it's sort of a horse and cart it's without the cart. Without, where where should we begin? Horse. Those I mean, wheels look like, like they're off a cannon to me. Yeah, they do look, they do. And they are wooden, yeah, they're wooden spokes, aren't they? That's wooden spokes. Wooden wheels. With pneumatic tyres. Yes. Also big wheels, all the rage in modern car design. Yeah, yeah. 22 inch wheels. You want your big cars. wheels. How about a 30? I want 30 inches, not, no less. It's not something, I'm not, I don't know an enormous about shock absorber technology, but I can see when it's not there. Yeah. And there's none on here. Yeah, we've got leaf springs yeah. here, which is, I mean, this is horse and cart stuff. But look, yeah. there, there is... Yeah, there's, there's a, a bit of, there's a bit there's, of give there's, there. It's better than nothing, yeah. I would say. Steering mechanism, again, no Very. steering wheel. The first steering wheel appeared on a car, I think, in the late 1890s. So right. one had been fitted to oh, right. a car before, but this is, I mean, this, this is sort deemed of, a much better idea. People would be familiar with this from sort of steering an outboard motor on a boat, right? <laughs> it's, it works, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. No power steering, mind you. No. But actually, because the tyres are so skinny, that's quite light. It, it, is, it is quite easy to do. And I'm fascinated. Oh, oh my goodness. How did you do that? That's brilliant. To warn people, because it's an electric vehicle and it's a silent killer. I saw, I saw the headline in the Daily Mail. By the way, this is completely unrestored. And this this, is, un this, is, this is original. The original, original that's, that's original cowhide. This is original horse hair wow. poking out of the seats. Yes. And then, should we do inside next? Let's, 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 the interior is, I'm, I'm fascinated by this because it's got volts and amperes. This is unbelievable. So no speedo, no. but we've got a dial for our volts and our amps. And wow. from those, I guess you calculate how, how much power you're, you're using. 
but this is the most unbelievable thing about this. If you look at this amp meter on the right hand side, yeah. look, this direction is for when it's running and then it winds backwards when it's charging, when the regen breaks. You're so you kidding, think so about the dial regen. in your Tesla yeah. that shows when you're accelerating and when, when you're, you're regenerating. When you're regenerating. It's, that. it's got the same thing, it's from 1901. Wow. So just running through the controls, tiller for steering, this handle here, this is our acceleration. You've got slow, bit less slow, still really quite slow. <laughs> And then, and then, how do you do? Re so do you regen, pull you just pull it back, right? And you're regenerating. I mean, we'll find out in a yeah. moment just how strong. I don't think we're talking one pedal no. driving here. I mean, there's there, there's no pedal for accelerating. Right. And are those pedals there, sort of randomly coming through the floor? Are they brakes? These are both brakes, right. and one of them is to break the motor, and then the seconds are these hub brakes, which are just fitted to the wheel here. Right. So you're spoilt for choice, really, oh, as far as slowing it down. I'm sure those are very effective. <laughs> yeah, there's no brakes on the front. That's great. Here's another, all. here's another little touch. Internal lighting. You know how you've got ambient lighting Oh, that in makes car, a big difference so, in a car. To give nice mood in the evening. Well, check this out. <laughs> if you want to see your vaults at night, look, you press this button with your foot. Look, it's a, it's a reading lamp. Oh, my goodness. It's and a that points lamp. onto that. That's unbelievable. For night driving. Imagine night driving in this. Because I like the headlights. I mean, those are going to be dazzling. Ready I can for, see the wait, bulb, yeah. Want to see these full yeah. beams in action? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dazzling. Yeah. That is intense. Yeah. Oh, you'd be able to see four or five <laughs> inches ahead of you. You might just about be able to find the step, <laughs> Where the step to is. get in with those. Yeah, it's not, uh, you can't imagine doing a long night drive in it. So right. I want to see where the software is. Yeah, let's say you need to change your oil. Or, well, I yeah. suppose it doesn't have much oil, oil to change. Or put so some no new screen wash in for your windscreen wipers. <laughs> this. Oh, well, that goes here, back. It? Yeah. God, this is, it, it's a very old thing. This. So be very careful. Oh my God, this, that oh. is amazing. Uh, that. Wow. Look at that. Right, tell me what I'm looking at here, Bobby. Well, that's a good question. Uh, connectors, obviously, some form of connectors. Oh, I see. Oh, I think I'm getting it. So the thing at the top there, it'll, it'll just increase the amount of power that's going through by connecting more of the connectors. So those all lead down to the motor from the batteries. I'm guessing this, looking at it. But if you move that lever, oh. Yeah, there's different connectors going in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Wow, that literally is more bits of metal connecting to more power. Wow. Because what's so weird about modern electric cars is all this stuff is software. It's code. It's got nothing to do. It's not mechanical. And then to see a kind of mechanical version, mm. literally big things that go ka-ching, ka-ching, and that's on, off, and it's a mechanical twisting thing is so kind of visceral, isn't it? So, it? Yeah, good good luck giving that an over the air update. So what's in the back then? Is that right. the, is that the, the truck? A, this is the key, as you yeah. can see, very high tech. So that's, that's the security. No one could ever replicate <laughs> no. this key. They were very special. Right, here goes. Do you want me to, I'll hold the key for oh, you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> OEM reflectors, there we go. Oh, right, yep. <laughs> Not really guessing those are. So those are modern batteries, but they're in, but that's where they would have been, whatever they were originally. That's where they would have been. Yeah. So these are from a golf buggy, I right. think, and they're lead acid. So it's not exactly cutting edge tech. This is the same sort of stuff you had in a G Wiz 20 yeah, yeah. years ago. Obviously, batteries are one thing that are not going to last 122 years, yeah. particularly 122 year old batteries. Right. Notice he's got a little bag of tools down Yeah, there's here, like loads here. of storage space. A cargo space. It doesn't get hot, obviously. No. So you can. No. Keep there's no bits. oil being sprayed around. Because I mean, there were. I do know that in, for instance, in New York, around the time this was would be running, there were two battery swapping stations in in New York. One was in Soho, and one was in Harlem. And a, a ta electric taxis would drive in, and they had a system where they just slide out the battery tray was on a tray. This is 19, like 1903 this was happening. They'd slide it out and they'd slide in a charged one and it took them something like 35 seconds and then the, the taxi had another 60 miles of range and it was driving around New York all the time. There was, I've got, remember, see if I can remember because that was from the same book, 680 taxis on the roads in Manhattan. They were all electric. Good Lord. All of them. And they, in, the reason, I think in 1908 they tried a petrol one but they were worried it was going to frighten the horses because still most transport was horse yeah. drawn and the electric cars obviously were quiet and then the, the petrol one backfired so badly and horses freaked out and there was all sorts of trouble so they, it was banned <laughs> so, <laughs> until a few years later when they, you know well, I mean that's the thing that we've got to remember is at this time 
a combustion engine, this was not, you would not say this was reliable or suitable and it didn't have much range and it was a problem, there's loads of problems with it. But so there was with combustion cars. Oh yeah. Loads of problems with it. They were breaking down, they were filthy, they'd explode. The petrol was in a glass jar on the, that was strapped to the back of where the passenger seats with, with a leather strap and you had to fill it. It was called a demijohn and you'd, it would be literally like a water dispenser. Yeah. And you turn that upside down. No. That's a petrol, that's yeah, how they did a, it. That's, a, that's, a, that's called yeah. a bomb, that's yeah, what that yeah. is. So they were really difficult, they constantly broke down. So there was really debatable about what was going to happen. Well, I think we should delve into why petrol won yeah. in the first place and why cars like this didn't really survive for very long. Yeah. But before we do that, Robert, and I can't quite believe I'm going to say this, should we go for a drive? I think we should. Oh, oh, oh the power. Oh, she goes! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> It's not like being in a caravan where everyone behind you is furious. I think yeah. People seem quite pleased about the situation. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, look at you! <laughs> What's going on here? That lady just got out, went off road, heckled us, and then drove past. Bobby, this is quite idyllic. It is very, it's very idyllic. I'm just, uh, just uh, doing a bit of, bit of, bit of regen yourself. Yeah. Was that a bit of regen? That Wait, do that again. Do Let that again. me just see. We need to get going. Okay. Regen. Look oh, at that. Oh. Oh. Reverse ampage. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, blimey. There's, a, there's an uphill coming up here. Yeah, right, now give this, it the beans, Bobby. It's, it's full, I'm what? Full this is out. the beans? This is absolute oh, maximum power. Jeez. I'm scared. I'm, I want to sort of want to get out to see the difference in speed. I'm going to do it. Ready? Oh, you've got quicker. No. This is undignified. It is. If I was a lady it of is, it's definitely if, I, if I was a lady of repute, I'd be very upset about this. I'll slow right down. Oh, oh sorry. Right. <laughs> Good loss. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. The acceleration is devastating. Yeah, Mike said it will slow down to like two miles an hour going up a hill. So he's obviously more familiar with it. Yeah, and that's that's with one human in the in the in the oh, carriage, yes. yeah. clearly. Yeah. Round the corner. Visibility. Oh, there is someone. There is someone. Oh, 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 keep going. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're all right, we're all right. Sorry, that was close. Mike, just in, Mike. That was a pretend. We crime. pretended that. That was acting. That wasn't real. That was red dwarf quality acting. Visibility, fantastic. That's incredible visibility. No need for mirrors. Top, Ve top very quality. well ventilated. Yeah. Uh, not getting any steam on no, the windscreen. No, no, not at all. I'll tell you what. Actually, kidding aside, quite comfortable. It is surprisingly comfortable. Those leaf The sprays. ride is actually quite smooth, isn't it? That is wooden wheels. Surprise. Might be the way forward. Yeah. We might get up to a very high speed down here. Start braking, camera car says start braking. Why have they said that then? Okay. Ooh. Look at that, it right. really That's regen. That, does that is regen. And just think, 18 miles per hour, more on this hill. Yeah. 60 miles of range, they reckon. I know. The original batteries. That's 60 amazing. 60 miles. miles of range back then. Because, I mean, the, to be honest, the, the, my Nissan Leaf, when that was new, that was its realistic safe range. You wouldn't worry about range to up to 60 miles. Right. After that, you were getting tense. It did do more than that, but reliably where you don't have to worry about it was 60 miles so that was 120 years later the first generation i mean it is incredible isn't it so fun stat for you bobby oh yeah in 1900 the year before this car was made in the us about 1700 steam powered cars were manufactured wow. about 1600 electric cars less than a thousand petrol, petrol cars, cars. so amazing. this tech and steam they were winning initially right. And then in 1908, Ford Model T comes along. Mass is, that when, is that when that started? 1908. 1908 so I think that's the a Model pivotal T. year. Yeah. And I think it cost about 900 bucks to begin with. But by the 1930s, they got the price down yeah. to some $260 because, wow. again, mass production. Yeah. Now, what I'm wondering is if Henry Ford had just decided to go with electric instead yeah. of petrol, would we have all been driving electric cars all along or is that oversimplifying, do you I think? I think it probably is. A lot to do with batteries because that's what's caused the resurgence of electric cars, if you like. You know, they, it was a dead technology for like 100 years, yeah. more or less. And it was the advent of rechargeable, energy-dense lithium-ion technology. That's kind of what allowed the electric cars we now drive to, to become 
plausible sure. because you know you could put lead acid batteries in a BW ID5 ID4 and it would work and you could charge it again and it would but it would it's not going to happen you know it would, you'd need a ton and a half of batteries yeah i think electric cars like this were really popular at the, in the first place because there weren't many roads and what roads yes. there were were in cities but once we started city. making highways yeah, people yeah. started to want to go further and yeah. all of a sudden 18 miles an hour and limited range is yeah. a bit of a deal breaker yeah and i think i think it's a combination of that and the starter motor i think the starter motor was critical because petrol engines were uh, petrol and steam engines were so difficult to get going that uh, that was a real challenge for anybody and you can say oh well you yeah, know women preferred electric cars well yeah but men preferred electric cars because starting a petrol car was really really hard you know people got gouged yeah they did they died you yeah, know it's really shocking i think it's a shame about steam yeah i like to think steam was sort of like the hydrogen of the early 20th century we were like it's gonna catch on just you it's wait. gonna be huge next year's the year for steam steam cars big year for be, steam yeah. Bobby, profound, insightful, concluding thoughts on this glorious contraption? I think it's, it is fantastic. It's been such a joy and a privilege to drive it. I'm very glad that technology has advanced a bit since 1901. Yeah, things that I didn't realise I took for granted include steering wheel, yeah. windscreen, windscreen. <laughs> uh, damping. damping. These are good things. Those are all good things. Uh, power assisted brakes. Brakes that stop. Or brakes that stop you. Those are brilliant. Who came up with that idea of brakes that actually stop you? Also, wheels that stay on. I don't know if you've noticed this, <laughs> yes. but we're leaking quite a lot of oil back here. Yeah, and I'm wheels, sure it's, it's really joined on. Slightly less attached than it yeah, did. It does look but a little what bit. What a glorious thing. And it's, but it's, it is amazing when you think this is 100 and, what, 122 years old or something like that. And it's still, and that, mo I just, I, it's the motor that really blows me away. Because all those sort of, you know, I've heard engineers talk about electric motors last forever. Well, here's absolute concrete proof that they do. There's nothing wrong with that motor. And likewise, it kind of makes me feel warm and gooey to understand that electric cars have been a good idea for a long time. It's just only now are we able to execute it. We have the technology to really do it properly. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So I think we've got to sign off in the appropriate way for the period. Right, you If are. you don't mind, Jack, I, I need to be uh, on screen for this on my own, I think. Oh, oh, right. Sorry, you know. That's what we agreed just Well, now, I mean, you know, you've got a T-shirt on. That seems well. unnecessary. Yeah.